I'm Dr. Kenneth Orbeck, Body Logic MD of Greenville, South Carolina. I work in metabolic medicine and I use issues of toxicology, detoxification, bioidentical hormones, and also biotransformation using different types of products to help your metabolism. One of the neatest things I've been involved with recently has been with your body's ability to heal itself through cell therapy. Platelet-rich plasma is a very unique entity where we can actually take your blood extract the platelets and re-inject those platelets which have incredible growth factors that cause tissue healing and new tissue genesis. So let's see what this is all about. Follow me down to the lab and we're going to actually do a demonstration here of what platelet-rich plasma really does on an active patient. Let's go down the room. Hi Rich. Good to see you doctor. Good to see you. Well, you ready to have some rejuvenation done? Absolutely. I've been right. waiting a long time. I know you have. You've been having some difficulty with that wrist. So we're going to be doing some platelet-rich plasma, and I'll be kind of explaining what I do. And I'm going to take part of your blood, and I'm actually going to spin off very rich platelets. We're actually going to take, use a buffy coat of those platelets, and we're going to use those cells, re-inject them into you, and that really helps tissue genesis and repair. So hopefully what we're going to find is we're going to find a lot of uh, regeneration, reduction in inflammation, and some tissue, tissue healing and repair. So that hopefully that'll make a big difference. Looking forward okay, to it. ready to go? Fantastic, let's get started. Let's go. Right now I'm putting ACDA into a syringe and what this will do is this will help platelets for, from forming clots. We don't want to form any blood clots and so that's what this technique will do. You want to draw the blood out very carefully and very slowly because you really don't want to rupture the red blood cells or disturb the platelets. Again, just move that anticoagulant around in the tube, make sure that we don't have a problem with the uh, coagulation or the uh, blood cells. Now I'm going to inject the platelets into my system. Again, very slowly. And this has anticoagulant in it so we don't form a clot. Now we transfer the uh, device with the uh, blood into the centrifuge, like so, and then we close, lock, and start the PRP spin. Okay, so let's talk for a moment about uh, autologous platelet-rich plasma. Uh, when we use cell therapy, there's some, certain compliance acts that we have to make sure and ensure that we're compliant with. Uh, number one, uh, it has to be autologous. That means the tissue or blood comes from you and it has to be put back into you, cannot be used in anybody else. Uh, the second issue we are governed by is homologous. It has to be used in a similar fashion of how it was taken. And then the third issue is, is point of care. Uh, you really should not uh, take any tissue or blood out of the room uh, and you cannot manipulate it. So it has to be minimally manipulated and point of care. This is a nice point of care system because I'm here and you're here and nothing ever changes. It simply comes from you and goes back into you. So let's talk about what in the world is platelet-rich plasma, what it's composed of. So what we're doing here is we're using the platelets and the derived growth factors, stimulating SDF 
one alpha, helping the migration of cells get to the right place. We're using governing factors to get there. So we provide a progenitor cell, and then we provide kind of a matrix, which is called a scaffold, to help the cells really know where to go. And then we add basically the uh, directional control, okay? So what we're gonna add is we're gonna add signal proteins, which actually help to tell the tissue what to do, and all that ends up into tissue genesis, or the creation of tissue at that inflammatory site or the repair of that tissue. So Dr. Lubbock, what does that mean in layman's terms? So in layman's terms, what we're doing is we're putting in a plant and we're adding beautiful fertilizer. We're allowing that plant to grow and we're giving that plant what it needs to grow. Now in human tissue, it's much more complex because it's all governed by different in, in, uh, cytokines and growth factors, which I was just talking about. So we got really complex here tonight, but it's important to do that because you have to understand the complexity of the body. And if I can take out of your body specific growth factors, we all know that the body has the ability to heal itself, don't we? Absolutely. Right. So if we can take the part of the body that knows how to heal itself and direct it into where we want the healing, concentrate that healing, we can call self-heal and repair. How do you apply that? Well, surgeons apply it all the time on how to mo on help modifying fat and helping to accept tissue. Uh, orthopedic surgeons use it all the time in inflammatory joint diseases to help with inside inflammation with torn ligaments or cartilage or whatever. We're, we have a new technique now that we're using, which is really exciting, and it has to do with sexual wellness. As we age, our sexual wellness may decline because our tissue may atrophy. So in a woman, you may get vaginal atrophy. They may have had one or two babies. They may have stretching of tissue. They may have incontinence of urine. So by applying these growth factors to that sexual tissue, we can cause vaginal rejuvenation and repair. Causes a lot of good things with sensitivity, improved sexual performance, and reduction in incontinence. In men, as we lose hormones, we can add the hormones back in but cells typically will decline and you'll end up with some atrophy. I have diabetics that have atrophy, both a vascular origin and maybe even neurological. So if I can put in a specific uh, healing cell that tells basically the body to heal that area and localize the healing of that area, we're gonna improve erectile performance, staying power, we're gonna improve the ability of sensitization and the overall sexual performance in men. So, really a lot of cool stuff going right out, uh, out right now with sexual wellness and applying PRP to overall enhance your sexual life. Absolutely fantastic. All right. So here is, the, here is the plasma and we separated everything out and down here there's a little buffy coat and in that buffy coat is where all those cells that I was talking to you about reside. So if I pull some of this off, I can increase the concentration and then I can inject that. And I wanna increase the concentration basically to right around about 1.5 to 2.0 million cells per microliter. That's where the studies show you get optimal rejuvenation. If you go much higher than three, you start getting inflammation. If you go much lower than one, you don't get as much tissue genesis. Okay, so now I've pulled the platelet-rich plasma, which was in the Buffy coat, out of the container, and now I have my syringe with platelet-rich plasma that I can utilize for tissue rejuvenation. Well, now we're injecting into the area mm -hmm. of difficulty right here. Okay, so the platelet-rich plasma is in the affected joint, and now this may be getting a little inflamed over the next couple days, and then the inflammation uh, will go down and the healing will, will take place over the next several weeks. He'll have tissue genesis and repair. So that's why I expect to have a great recovery. And you'll have to limit the amount of ice cream you scoop. <laughs> okay, so we just demonstrated a procedure of platelet-rich plasma. Uh, and we talked about the incredible uh, healing powers of growth factors of platelet-rich plasma can give us in the buffy coat, white blood cells, and how they can all help the healing process.
We just finished the patient. Now he's going to hurt for just a few days, and then the healing process will begin. Hopefully we'll start tissue genesis, and we'll get a, a great repair of a long-standing problem he's had for years. So if we ask the question, is PRP for me? The answer to the question is, what area of the body are you having difficulty with? We're getting tremendous response in sexual wellness of men and sexual wellness of women, helping their wellness and reducing their dysfunction. It's bringing together relationships. It's a real positive addition to my practice. And as a bioidentical hormone doctor, I welcome it into my practice. And if any issues exist for you, I welcome you to come in and discuss it with me. Thank you.